Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Rich Perez welcoming you back into another dose of your weekly rundown. I like that. I like that. It's a little different, man. You can see us out here now. We we doing big things, man. Um, of course, join in with me, my guy from the U. He's not at the U, though. Okay, so Davis, how you doing, Kay? I'm doing good today. Like you said, it's, it's a little different right now because you can see us, you know, uh, coming big things, making some changes for y'all, trying to get some uh, something different out there for y'all. So we said we was going to bring y'all some visuals. We got some visuals for y'all, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, the Rundown Show on uh, YouTube, and uh, make sure you uh, check out the website for more updates and stuff, uh, the rundownshow.com. Absolutely, absolutely. We're going to be giving you guys some articles, uh, pumping those out pretty soon as well. Um, everything Kay said, make sure you guys do that. So um, to get to get right down to business, um, some NFL news. Ant, uh, Anthony Lynn, head coach of the Sandy, not, excuse me, no longer San Diego, the Los Angeles Chargers, uh, recently spoke out in regards to former NFL quarterback Colin Kaepernick. Um, Lynn went on to say they, that the Chargers are happy with the three quarterbacks that they currently have on the roster, but uh, Kaepernick fits the the style of play that they like at quarterback, and rumors are starting to swirl now that, you know, it, it's possible that this summer that he could be brought in for a workout. Now, while I appreciate this, you know, in keeping, you know, Colin Kaepernick's name you know, in, in the news of possibly getting a job. This has been a topic of discussion for, for you know, a little bit now since, since those players came out with that video. We talked about this last week. Um, you know, I, I look at this and I hope it's true. But when, you know, while saying that, I just I can't see it. I think it's I think it's more of just just talking. I don't I don't see them actually bringing him in. And even if they were to bring him in, what how realistic is it that the Los Angeles Chargers sign Colin Kaepernick? Before I even turn that over to you, it's something that would make sense. You know, Colin Kaepernick has has a deep following. You know, we saw that when uh you know they had the workout out in in Atlanta. You know when he ended up um doing his, his own his own workout after the NFL workout fell apart. There were hundreds of people that, that turned out on that, that high school field to watch him play. The, the Chargers do not bring fans to, to, to that stadium. It's, it's just realistic. You know, it's, they play 16 away games a year. So it would make sense from a fan standpoint to bring him in. You know, we talked about the reality of how good he actually is last week. No, noting, you know, that a lot of this talk about him being washed, you know, he really just wasn't that good. It's not true. He's had the four-year layoff, you know, and I don't expect him to be a, a starter from day one, but, you know, I believe he's still good enough to compete. So with yeah, that yeah. being said. Yeah, definitely. I, d I definitely agree with you. And uh, I kind of have the same issue with it kind of what you do, like, is it all talk? Because, you know, with everything that's going on right now, Colin Kaepernick has been out there for, like you said, four years. So what makes them kind of want to bring him in now? And also with three quarterbacks already on their on their roster, it's kind of hard to, to, to look at this and not think this is kind of like maybe I'm trying to capitalize on the moment with just everything that's going on with the cap and then uh, with the Black Lives Movement and then uh, Black Lives Matter movement, sorry, and then uh, – people just looking at Cap in a different light now. So it's kind of like, if this didn't happen, would they really be looking at Kaepernick right now? Like you said, he they can capitalize with his, his following and stuff, but it it might just be them trying to capitalize on what's going on. Now, as, as we talked about him before, a lot of people feel like he might've been blackballed and with everything's going on, it seems like that that maybe blackballed thing may have been lifted off to him. So it's kind of like, you guys kind of have three quarterbacks already and he's kind of been out there. So it's like, to me, I'm kind of, iffy on it like you said it's good for them to keep his name out there and have people interested but I, I i would i would have to see it done and just to know that it's not all talk and i'm just trying to capitalize on the moment 
I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I'm on the same page. And not to, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even know who the third quarterback on their roster is. I know they have Tyrod Taylor, who they've been high on since last year. He almost had an opportunity, well, a couple opportunities to to start for them over um, – Excuse me, why am I forgetting my man's name right now? Um, Philip Rivers. Philip Rivers, yes. He 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 had a he had an opportunity to start over Philip Rivers because Philip Rivers was not playing that well. Um, but they, the the Chargers as an organization, Anthony Lynn, you know, a, along with that organization, has spoke very highly of Tyrod. The expectation is he's the day one guy, and then not only that, you draft a quarterback with a top six pick. Um. So with, with those things in, in Justin in uh, Justin Herbert, so with those things being said, you know I, I'm just a real uh, I'm just a realistic person. I just don't think that they're going to bring Colin Kaepernick in to be a third string quarterback. Yeah, I, I'm I'm with you, and then I think they do bring him in. Like I said, it might be just um, capitalizing on the moment on the movement that's going on, and uh, them trying to take advantage of everything, like getting fans in there, like you said, just uh. Like I said, taking advantage of the moment, and I, I I don't really agree with that. I think if they really want them, then go get them. But don't try to capitalize on the moment and and kind of look at him now in the light when they wasn't looking at him like that before. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, there's a bunch there's a bunch of teams that could use him on the roster on their roster. Um, you know, I advocate for him uh, being back in the NFL. I've been advocating for him being back in the NFL since he was originally blackballed after the the 2016 season. I'm sure you do as well, knowing you. Um, and it's, it's a wait and see approach. So, you know, I just, I just kind of question exactly what, what was the point of the Chargers going out to do that? Um, you know, not, not to discredit them. I just can't see them, you know, ultimately bringing him in with all these factors already present. Yeah, same. I agree. I agree with everything you just said. And, uh, it's, it's going to be a wait and see moment. Maybe they see something in him. Like you said, he could be a good fit, but, like I said, it, with everything that's going on and then people looking at him in a different light now and seeing really what he was standing for, I think it could be like trying to capitalize on the moment. Like we said, we don't know what they're doing and how genuine it is, but it, I'm going to have to wait and see it on, on my side.